hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this behance logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips inside of after effects and photoshop now if you want to learn more about logo animation and other motion graphic stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started okay so now here we are in photoshop now i'll save this file i got this logo from google you can easily get this now over here we have to separate each and every portion of this logo on separated layer so what we are going to do we will choose select we will choose color range and with the help of the speaker i'm going to pick up this color first and simply hit ok create a new layer and hold alt backspace to apply that blue color hit ctrl d to deselect it now create another layer select this and again go to the select color range and we will choose this black i mean white color and make sure that fuzziness is 200 and simply hit ok go to this layer and hold alt backspace to apply that white color also hit ctrl d now we will delete this extra layer we don't need that okay so if you see now we have this layer is on separated layer and this on separated layer now let's hide this for now we will select this now i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'm going to select this b hit ctrl x create new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place similarly select this layer i'm going to select this e hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and this is already on separated layer like this so uh, this is how we will uh, do it now let's enable this and let's hide these layers now i am going to press s on my keyboard to select this lasso tool and we will select this much portion and then i'll press i for uh, picker and i'll pick up this color and hold alt backspace to apply this layer color and hit ctrl d to deselect it okay so this is how we got each and every portion on properly on separated layer and we will save this file then we will go to the after effects we will create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration i'm going to choose 10 second long and background color is white color simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then press ctrl i to import your photoshop file i have this photoshop file over here which is simply this file only so select this and import as footage composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok now double click to open this select all of them hit ctrl c to copy go to the main animation and hit ctrl v to paste it now select all of these three layers uppermost three layers and we will make it apparent with this fourth one which is this blue one go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and let's scale it at appropriate size like this okay now we will do this animation first so uh, select all of them and let's uh, disable this parenting now select this layers and press ctrl k to open the project settings and we are going to choose black color for this so we can easily see this stuff now select all of these three layers press p for position select their position by holding shift right click and choose separate dimensions create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then go to around one second create another keyframe at x and y then go to around 20 frames create one keyframe at y only we will delete this x keyframe we don't need that and in middle of that select all of these three layers and we will bring this over here go to this uh, in middle of that uh, like this uh, we will bring this over here like this okay and go to the start select all of them and go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and try to bring the x position over here and y position of them over here like this okay select uh, those x keyframe by holding shift and we'll move them over here like this now select this y position keyframes by holding shift and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this by holding shift we will move one handle over here select this and we will move one handle over here go to the start 
select this uh, move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here similarly uh, select this one by holding shift you will move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this this handle over here and select this and move this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation now press s create one keyframe hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this one complete rotation like this okay so we will get this kind of animation okay and if you want then uh, instead of uh, scaling animation you can uh, do another thing for example press s for scaling keyframe let's delete those keyframe and initially press p for position and we will bring down the uh, y position over here like this okay now we need the distance of 5 5 frames over here so i'm going to take this and one and move this over here and this one and let's move this over here like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation okay now select this layer go press s initially create one keyframe go to around 20 frames create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we'll get something like this okay now select this layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text animation like this select this and hit ctrl d now select this one and we are going to choose let's say this color over here and select this and we will choose blue color over here now select this second layer we are not going to change anything but we will select this first layer over here we will go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to apply fill effect and double click to apply and we will pick up this blue color over here okay now select this layer uh, hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top press f4 and i mean not f4 but enter and let's call it as mask and hit ok select this blue color layer animation we are going to choose alpha inverted mask like this so if you see we are getting this kind of animation now select this mask hit ctrl d let's bring this downwards we are going to choose alpha mask over here so we will get this kind of stuff now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text and hit ok so enable this layer now we will select this we will go to the rectangle options and we are going to create one rectangle over here like this okay now let's go inside this select all of them press f4 and make sure to enable their motion blur so we will get that motion blur animation over here also okay now this is animation now press ctrl y to create one solid background and if you see this over here we will get something like this let's select this uh, let's select this mask over here let's move this a little bit over here yeah okay so we are getting this kind of simple pop-up now after that we need to do another animation so select this last layer hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and we will hide this layers except this white color solid we will lock this now select this hit u and we will delete this keyframe uh, let's press s initially create one keyframe go to around 20 frame create another keyframe let's uh, make it something like this go to the start let's make this zero okay now select this hit u uh, go over here select this hit ctrl d select this second layer let's make this 40 press t for opacity let's make this 80 now select this hit ctrl d select this layer let's make this opacity 60 press s and let's increase the scale somewhere around press s let's make this 80 okay similarly i'm going to select this hit ctrl d select this last layer let's make this scale 120 
then press T for opacity let's make this opacity 40 select this hit ctrl D select this last layer go to opacity 20 select this press S and let's add plus 40 over here like this so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation and go uh, to around 20 frame forwards which means over here and select all of them and uh, copy the first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v and select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this move this handle over here so if you see you will get this kind of animation hit page down button two times select this move this over here move this over here move this over here and move this over here like this okay and this topmost layer over here which is this one we will increase the scale of this to 10 or something around okay and at this point i'm going to enable these layers and let's uh, try to bring them somewhere around over here okay so first this and then this and bring these layers at the top okay press f4 select all of them and enable their motion blur okay Now select all of them and press Ctrl Shift C and we will call it as animation and hit OK. Right click, go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss. Go to the bevel emboss and increase the softness totally like this. Increase the size to 25 and let's decrease the opacity to 40 or oh, let's say 25. Okay, also increase the size of it like this. Okay, so we will get this kind of animation. like this also at this point over here i'm gonna go inside this let's select our ellipse tool and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab uh, align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this and move this over here let's press s create one keyframe and in search option i'm going to type stroke and create another keyframe select this and hit u go few frame forward and let's increase the size and let's make this stroke width 0 go over here and let's make this stroke width 40 and press s and let's decrease the scale and select this and bring this downwards hit u select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of pop-up animation now select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply increase the softness select this shadow color with the help of this picker we will pick up this color and increase the softness somewhere around like this and increase the distance and let's make this softness to 125 or 150 like this and also in, let's make this 250 so we will get proper shadow and we will increase the distance also like this okay let's go to around 5 second uh, and press n over here like this go to the start press s let's make this 120 create one keyframe go to around 5 frame and let's make this 100 so if you see you will get something like this along with that we will get a little bit of scaling animation also so this is how you can create this kind of animation